Hello, this is Norma and welcome to my channel. If you're a subscriber, thanks for coming back. And if you're new, please subscribe, like, hit the notification button so each time I upload, you will be notified. And today, James is going to be making some um, jellof rice. And this is going to be his version. They have so many versions of how people make Liberian jellof rice. And this is how he's going to do it. Make my jellof rice, I make it a little differently. Add about a quarter cup of oil to my pot. I've got a blend of onions, peppers, and smoked fish, which I'm going to go ahead and pour in the oil. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and add two tablespoons of tomato paste to that mixture. I've got a Maggie cube, a Maggie Corvette, or Maggie crawfish. <laughs> now I'm going to add to that mixture. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of black pepper. Garlic powder, about a tablespoon of garlic powder. Got Noor seasoning. I'm going to add about a half a tablespoon of Noor seasoning because that has salt in it. And as I cook, I'm going to adjust my salt to the rice. And I'm going to add about a quarter teaspoon of salt. Now I'm going to mix all of this up. That paste is going to turn a dark red color because of the tomato paste. And it's going to thicken up, which is what it should do. Now I'm making this, you're more than welcome to add hot peppers to it to your convenience. I've got some pepper sauce on the side so I'm not actually going to add any hot peppers to my rice. We'll just go ahead and add hot peppers on the side as we eat that pepper sauce. You know, so if you look it turns into a dark red paste. All right. I'm going to go ahead and add some smoked sausages. While constantly stirring, I'm going to add some shrimp, peeled and deveined. Continue to stir it. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and add some mixed, veg mixed veg veggies. All I got was carrots, corn, green beans. We're going to go ahead and mix all of this up. And I'm going to let this fry for about three to five minutes. So we've got, our mixture's been frying for about two to three minutes. You got a nice smoky flavor from the smoked fish and the smoked sausage. And I've got enough seasoning in there, I went ahead and tried it. It's where it needs to be. What I'm going to go ahead and do is grab two cups of rice that I've washed. I'm just going to... Okay, so once you get this all mixed up, it goes to cooking 
just like you cook regular rice. You're going to add water. Tip for adding water to your rice, you're looking for water to stick up above the rice past your first knuckle. So I'm going to go ahead and add water. I'm going to go ahead and mix. Make sure the water is mixed completely through it. Bring it up to a boil. Let that water absorb into the rice and we'll turn it on low and let it simmer on low for about 20 to 30 minutes and I will cook your rice. All right, so my rice started to boil before it sucks up all our water. I've got some chicken that I made. I pretty much just broke apart a whole chicken, seasoned it, threw it in the oven, and cooked it until it was almost crispy. The reason why I cook it until it's crispy and hard is because once you put it into the liquid, it's going to absorb the liquid and soften up. If your chicken is too soft, it's just going to break apart in your rice. So I'm just going to add pieces of my chicken to the rice. I'm just going to cover it. I'm just going to let this boil and absorb the water. All right. So our rice has absorbed most of the water. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is turn this on a very low simmer so the rice has time to cook. And we're going to cover it. All right, so it's been about 20 minutes since we covered the rice up. I'm going to open it up and just move it around. And as you can see, the water has been absorbed into the rice. It's still a little wet, but that's perfect because you're going to cover it up and let it keep slow cooking so all your rice uh, grains are fully cooked through. But this is what it's going to look like when it's all said and done. All right, so it's been about 45 minutes since we started the rice. We're going to go ahead and cover it. Um, use a fork to fluff it up. And if you take a look at it, our rice is not wet anymore. She's nice and dry. And I'm going to take a bite. Perfect. That's perfect. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, hit the notification button, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.